Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I would like to show you what you can do with 2 and Helios IP Wireless Touch Display. This tutorial will teach you how to set up your own phone book, contacts and adjust various aspects of the display. I'll start with the basics. The phone book. Let's enter the phone book, where you can see our company structure and make calls. You can search the phone book by clicking the magnifying glass icon. Now that I had shown you what it looks like, let's jump into the web interface of the intercom and look at the settings. First of all, the phone book has to be displayed. Then you can create a new folder by clicking the plus sign under groups. Subfolder is created by selecting a parent folder and clicking the plus sign again. Users are added into the selected group by the plus sign on the right. Now that we know how to create a phone book, let's make it a little nicer by adding a contact photo like our contact Michael has in this example. This is really easy to do. You just click this icon in the given contact and then pick and adjust your desired image like this. In this chapter, I'm going to show you how to set up a slideshow. Images and videos are both uploaded from the slideshow tab by clicking the plus sign. Once you have more than one item here, you can also change the slideshow's playback order like this. However, the general settings are back on the display tab, which allows you to turn on or off the phone book, keypad, scramble the keypad and adjust the slideshow settings. Alright, let's move on to the keypad now. One of the main functions of the keypad is to enter calls in order to activate switches. If you want to make entering codes more secure, you can also scramble the keypad. Another function is to dial contacts either by their position number or virtual number. I'm gonna use virtual number for this example, since it needs some setup first. In order to unlock the virtual number field in a contact, you have to enable virtual number dialing first. We're almost at the end of this video, but there's one more thing to know about. Display brightness. As you can see, it's possible to manually adjust the default backlight levels in hardware backlight. There's also a new power saving mode which dials down the backlight when the intercom is not used. Alright, that's it for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a pleasant experience with 2 products.